everyone, Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Descent into Avernus. So, All right, let's recap. Um, through our last sessions, the party has investigated uh, the cult activities in Baldur's Gate. Um, after learning that these cults were somehow tied to uh, Zariel and the fiends of Avernus, um, they have been tasked with trying to restore the lost city of El Toro. They traveled to Kendall Keep, where they learned more about uh, Avernus and tried to secure a way down into Avernus. And that is exactly where we ended our session. Uh, they had met with the mage Traxagor, who had promised to secure a plane shift spell for them. And uh, the Hollyphant Lulu had joined the party, being a celestial being uh, who has a history of fighting with the fiends of Avernus in her past. Or at least that's what we're told. She can't exactly remember. So, But she is with the party and willing to help nonetheless. Ooh. All right. And everybody's ready? Yep. 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 Okay. So. You arrive. Uh, and it takes a very brief second for your eyes and, and your the rest of your senses to adjust after the teleport. As uh, you're, you're kind of beginning to gain the bearings of what's around you. Um, the very first thing you notice is a hot stinging air fills your lungs. Um, and it, it all around you is the stench of fire, um, smoke, and also much more sinister smell. It's a smell of, of uh, burning meat. And as you, your eyes uh, kind of adjust and you can see the streets ahead of you, you understand why. Um, the city street in which you stand is lined with buildings that are crumbling, if not already collapsed. The ground shudders beneath your feet, sending all of you to your knees. In the red, smoky sky, there is a 400-foot sphere of darkness that discharges strokes of bluish-white lightning that strike the city at irregular intervals. Perched atop a distant bluff overlooking the rest of the city is a crumbled fortress. All around you, you can see corpses burning, some of them um, being picked over by strange infernal creatures. And as you survey the city out in front of you, you see that Avernus has been plopped right into the middle of a war zone. In addition to all the devils that, that crawl over its surface, you can also see a lot of misshapen and deformed creatures, uh, demons that seem to engage the devils at every turn. Amid all of this, you can see the citizens of El Toro running in fear, trying to to stay out of the uh, stay out of the way uh, of the demons and the devils that are now fighting over the land. And uh, standing next to you, you see the wizard Traxagor gazes up at the black orb nervously before he utters a few arcane syllables and with a popping noise he disappears in the blink of an eye well, he sure got out of here fast did he just leave us uh, Lulu looks up oh no what is that she looks up at the orb that's the companion what it, the the companion it was like a, a magical sun that guarded el toro against the darkness but it's been perverted uh what does that mean well uh, perhaps it's... we can get indoors before we talk about this yeah it's probably a good idea it doesn't look very hospitable here yeah, since mean, we're not welcome. I learned that word, by the way. But yeah, inside. Okay, uh, you turn around and you you uh, try to find a building that is still serviceable for you to for you to hide in. Um, most of the ones in your immediate vicinity have been destroyed and stand in smoldering rubble. 
you turn a corner and before you is a still standing structure and uh, a woman with two toddlers, uh, one on each arm, runs by. Following directly behind her are ambling three infernal monsters with glaives and snake-like beards, laughing darkly. <laughs> Come here! As they chase the woman and her children down the road. We must yeah, assist this very strong woman. <laughs> this very strong woman. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right, we're going to move over here. This is where we're going to spend much of our day today. Oh, all right. Random encounters. Uh, no, not random. <laughs> all right, structured encounters. <laughs> yes, we're in the middle of this. We're, we're in hell and in the middle of all of this uh, war and, and fighting. And, oh, it's madness. Uh I don't know why I thought it was. Wait, be... wait. Are these three of the same thing that we fought in the dungeon of uh, the Van Thamper house? Have we fought we took... these yet? We have fought yes. these yet. Yes. Oh, these no. These are three bearded <laughs> devils. And as they turn and look at you and your interruption, um, they raise their glaives angrily. She Go went that way. Rough. Just kidding. <laughs> she... Wow. <laughs> Uh, you know what time it is. Go ahead and roll that initiative. Okay, one, two, three, four. Good. All right, Talion, you are going to be up first. It's time to pepper some devils. Double sharpshooter. Whoa. Uh, sir. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stop that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Well, what I, the, what, what I the, do? You, you crit on your first shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just the closest one. Yeah. So he's going to take, uh, he's going to take 18. Bang. And then, uh, the second one is going to miss. Copy that. And then I will uh, try and find some sort of rubble or cover to, to slide or duck behind real quick to, uh, if there is any, to help give myself a little cover from throwable object. Sure. How about you, Zondank? What are you doing? I believe in you, Zarya. <laughs> <laughs> I will and protect you, Goblin. <laughs> action to make the ultra. All right. Um, no this one won't be the blister. It's the protector one. Okay. And is that all? Yeah, I can't use it when I make those. Did you say glades? Glaive, yeah. Like a ten-foot reach glaive. Uh, yeah, you get that impression. Yep, exactly that impression. <laughs> so they run forward. Actually, they can reach further away, but they're going to get real up close. Because uh, their glaives may have reach, but their tickles don't! Oh god. Well, uh, the first attack was against you, <laughs> Godric. That one will miss. Oh, that's good. That's right. You are still wielding the Shield of the Hidden Lord. Yes. Okay. So he misses, and then uh, he swings at you with the glaive. And misses again. Second one also attacking you. Uh, just because you're big and you're in the front. Looks the like... 23 will hit. Okay. And you need to make a con save, or you gain a wound. Okay, I'm just reading it just so I know exactly what's going on here. You, if uh, if you if you fail the save, you take five damage at the start of your turn. Yikes. Okay, uh, the only way to get rid of the wound is if you are uh, if someone takes an action to to close the wound, or if you receive healing of some sort. 
Uh, let's use the skull to track your your magical wound. Maybe. I love you, Daddy Warbucks. Maybe. Why is it not working? Ooh, boy. So that was 12 damage. Alright, whatever. I'm not worried about it. Oinks! Thank you for the resub, man. Appreciate you. How you doing today? Alright, uh, yes. 12 damage and you're wounded. Why, why are my markers not working? This is weird. Do you see marks on your token when I... Yeah, I see marks. I, now I have an orange, a green, a red, and a blue one. Oh, okay. They, were, they weren't showing up for me. I'm wondering if it's something I've Now I have a skull with the one over. That's what I wanted. Okay. Uh, so that's two. The third one here. Uh, he is going to attack Lulu. Oh, who should also be in the tracker. Get in there, Lulu. Okay. So he's attacking our Hollyfont friend. <laughs> Uh, the glaive is a hit. At which point she's going to cry out, oh no! And then, uh, make a con save. But she passes. And then, Zarium, it's your turn. I'm seeing that my friend, the new friend, the tiny elephant, is being attacked. I'm going to spin around and say, don't hurt my friend! And... Make two Warhammer attack against him. Already. Yikes. Nope. Yep. That'll, that's a little better. Uh, I guess I'm going to use uh, Divine Smite. All right. Definitely uh, a fiend. For this guy. So let's uh, go ahead and, and... Okay, the damage for that rolls already. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks. And do it at level one. I'll do, do that. 13.25 And then as a bonus action I um, will, will cast a Shield of Faith on myself Okay It is Lulu's turn uh, She She looks around and then uh, she shouts out back to you Don't worry about me I'll be fine and then she turns to the to the bearded devil. Don't you hurt my friend! And she tries to gore it with her tusk and she misses horribly. I should have taken damage, correct? Yeah, you took 12. Oh, at yeah, the start no, of your turn. Yeah, you take five turn. for the wound. And then Ar Arcanus. Right, Arcanus is going to realize that he is way too close to these things and he needs to get away fast. So he's going to disengage for his action and get away. That looks good. And then he's going to use his meta magic to use two sorcery points. And then cast a spell. Scorching Ray, which I need to roll two more times. Two or... more times. Yep. Uh, and. Uh... Nice. One at each. So 19 and 21 will hit. Uh, however, as these creatures are struck by the flame of uh, your spell, you can see that it it connects and um, the, the effects of the spell are apparent. But you can see that it has zero effect. When in hell... Yeah, kind of figured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alien. Gotcha. I'm going to shoot a shot at this one. Just assuming that's going to miss. Mm -hmm. I run and slide behind some rubble over here and shoot a shot at that one. Ooh, that will hit. Bang bang. And then let's uh let's go ahead and toss that action surge in here too and toss another one out. Oh. Okay, uh that will kill the first of the uh bearded devils. Is 
that's it for me. Uh, do you have another attack? I shot twice and I action surge, isn't that all? Or does aren't action you, surge give me two attacks? Aren't you level five? It does yeah. give you two attacks. So, oh, I didn't, okay. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, you get a whole nother action. So which you, okay. if you take the attack action, you get your multiple attacks. That's amazing. Uh, sorry, I'm new to fighter still. Oh, All right. right, well, I'm going to shoot one I tried to shoot a second ago. 13 is a hit. All right, there you go. Awesome, and that'll be it for me then. Well done, Italian. Yep. Okay, Zanda. Uh, Burning section first to use the protector of my Elder Tent. So everyone gets, yeah, five temp hit points in the 10 feet range, but excluding. Okay. Um, and then three action to draw the short sword, right? Yeah. Because I haven't, yeah. And I'm just going to hit this one here. Uh, that's a hit. Is that a, a magical weapon? No, but it is silvered. It is silvered. Okay. And that's yeah, my turn. Then the bearded devils. Two remaining. The first one, having just been hurt by you so very much, uh, is going to retaliate first by swinging at you with his glaive. Uh, 21. Do you have any reactions? think you did all right doesn't matter uh and then the tentacles miss second one attacking zarian 18 is a miss and then beard 22 now misses because of my shield of faith that's right that's right and then zarian ah. back to you now that's a tank all right, so uh, seeing that the one that uh, don't forget to take your five because of the wound. That is correct. The temporary HP doesn't get you. I, I don't lose anything. That temporary HP coming in clutch because um, it was five. So I'm just <laughs> where I'm at normally, I guess. Um, uh, seeing that we're ganging up on this fella right here, me and the, our elephant friend, and you know we're just gonna keep swinging at that guy real quick and see if we can do some damage. And that is a dead devil. All right. Seeing that he falls over, we're going to switch over to the other guy. And a hit. All right. And I don't think I can do anything else as a bonus action right now, so that's going to be it. Uh, Lulu flutters around and, again, tries to stab at the devil with her tusks. That's the wrong shit. Stab. Nope, it's miss. Uh, Arcanus. Okay, realizing he feels like he's very ill-prepared for this mission, he's going to use his backup. Chaos Bolt. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. <laughs> That'd be force damage. And he, even with all that damage, he rolled a one in both rolls. Like, what? Okay. Uh, I have bad news for you. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you see that again, your spell streaks through the air. And it, it hits the devil, but nothing seems to happen. And Lulu looks up, startled and surprised. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Oh. And with that... Ah. Oh. <laughs> So, you forgot to mention something. 
What? I, I'm sorry. I, I I don't remember very good. Neither do I. I don't 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 feel bad. I don't even remember your name. I thought it would. I know help. you're my friend though. <laughs> you might want to get away. <laughs> but I'm protecting our friends. So does that mean magic that goes off next to her doesn't harm whatever it, whatever's in her radius then? Well, mechanically, as a player, um, like you have the description, any spell from outside the barrier targeting something inside the barrier doesn't work. Got that. But if you're inside the barrier and cast a spell inside the barrier, it does work. <laughs> It, it, it only stops stuff trying to go in. How do you guys do that arrow thing again? The Snap ruler? Center. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, the ruler? It's yeah. the circle. Sorry. <laughs> it's the circle with the line in your tools on the left. On your screen, it should be over here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> that is three crit so far. All right. I'll figure it out. Dice are hacked. Dice are hacked. Dice are broken. Another hit. Wow. Wow. What? He, All the crits. He came I'm to play. Him early, boys. Yeah. And that'll do it for me. Uh, Zandar. Uh, bonus action to use the Eldritch Cannon. So you get six temporary hit points, Eldritch. You are the best. You would get six then, as well. Because uh, the six I'll overwrites start. five. Oh, he lost. It overwrites mine? Okay. Yeah, because uh, temporary hit points don't stack. So you, the six would overwrite your five. Oh, because it's higher. Okay. Well, even if it's not higher, if if you had five and then you give everybody three, now you have three. Okay. Yep. And then I'll just stab at this last one with my sword. Thank you, Zondo. Okay. Uh, the devil. He is going to. You're you're too difficult to hit. Uh, so he's gonna spread the love a little bit. First, he's going to try and hit. Uh, he's going to try and hit Zarian with the glaive. Miss. But then he's going to reach out with his with his barbed tentacles at, at Zondark and miss. Alright, so I take the 5 HP, but I have 6 temporary hit points, so that puts me at one, 1 temporary hit point. Yep. And then uh, I will attack this guy a couple of times. See how it goes. Yep, that's a hit. So is that. You guys are consistent with the rolls tonight. So far. <laughs> so so far. far. <laughs> All right, here comes Lulu. Uh, she will use her action to suppress the aura. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Don't worry, Lulu. You do a great job. I love you, you little forgetful glitter fairy thing. <laughs> I mean, just look at her. Isn't she adorable? Oh, <laughs> God. She looks like a, a arm armadillo. Like a misshapen <laughs> gremlin. Like a, like a, a warthog, golden elephant baby thing. Yep. <laughs> That's why it's on Darkland's on. All right, Arcanus. All right, we're going to try this again. <laughs> that is a hit and tell me what is the damage type lightning okay so as the lightning arcs out it hits the bearded devil he sc screams and spasm in pain and dies as soon as we get out of combat so I can get rid of this uh, wound thing, I'm going to give myself five from Lay on Hands. You're going to give yourself five? Because then yeah. you, you would take five first. 
You sure you don't oh. want the tracker to go to the next person so they can get rid of them? Yeah, oh, that's a oh, good oh, idea. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a there. good idea. <laughs> All right, let's just pretend it happened that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier. Thanks. Thank you for the Four. assist. Okay. I'm going to move these guys off here to a pile. What would you guys like to do now? The the woman and her children, she she runs up to you. Oh, thank you. Huh, huh, I'm so tired. You're welcome. Why were they chasing you? Oh, I, that's what they've been doing. There were a lot of us that died during the fall, but... I think they've been rounding up the survivors, capturing them to take them somewhere. Is yeah. there um, any way you can go? Well, I've heard that a lot of the survivors have been trying to work their way over to the chapel on the opposite side of the city. I I'll never make it there on my own. It's much too far, and the children... She kind of clasps her hands over her ears and presses them to, to her stomach so that she kind of muffles what they hear. It, they slow me down. I'm I'm afraid that on, as long as they're with me, we're not going to survive very long. Wow. <laughs> well, I know I thought Zarian should be able to carry him with no problem. Yeah, one in each arm. Well, actually, maybe one in my backpack and one under my other arm. I don't know. If this chapel is as safe as it sounds, perhaps we should go there as well. A place the to people get a, are there. A bit of a battle plan together. Oh, yeah, but people are there. They may have more intel to help assist us with those. Yes. If uh, if we can make it to the chapel, uh. I believe that older Raven Guard is still alive. He would know what to do. Oh yeah, I heard of that guy. He's strong. Yes, he he's the most capable person that would be here, and and a great and powerful paladin. There's, uh, if anyone could fight back against this darkness, it would be him. Well, if we're gonna cross this city, I'm gonna heal myself some more. <laughs> Yes, um, it will be difficult. I, I I had seen it with my own eyes. The city split in two. I've heard from other survivors that this side, what would have been the eastern part of Il Toro, is the worst. If we can cross over the bridges to, to where the ca castle is, I think we'll be okay. But we must hurry. I'm healing myself for ten more. And I'd like to get everyone to stand around the Elder Cannon and Give everyone 11 temporary Nice. Hits. That's a good roll. Zondong, that cannon of yours is very handy. I'm going to show you guys a map of El Toro as it currently stands. Wow. And you can see that marked on our map is where we are. Characters arrive here. And... So we need to cross uh, at one of the two bridges that 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 span the chasm. Um, the woman who introduces herself as Harkina says that we could try to cross at either Torm's Reach or at Torm's Blade, and looks to the party for guidance. Which one's safer? Or is neither? I don't think either is safe. It's just a matter of how we want to try and get there. Or, I don't know. Do our characters have this map? Uh, in, in, no. In a sense? This, okay. is just, this is just uh, the interpretation of what has been described to you. Well, uh, I think if there's a place named Torm's Blade, 
I think, uh, you know, if I was a demon or a devil, I'd want to be there. So let's go to Torm's Reach. How much further would that take us out of our way to get to where we're going, though? I don't know. Well, we are trying to reach the High Hall. It's... You can probably see it towering over the city there. And she points in the direction, and you can see it's to the southern end on the opposite end of the chasm. And where's the two bridges at? Near the... to the north? Yeah, the Torm's Reach is further away. Torm's Blade is closer. Either way, I think slow and steady is the name of the game. Let's take it quietly. Let's take it, uh, uh, go down some alleys and stick to the rubble and try and sneak. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, but can't really be quiet. Well, sticking to the alleys might keep us off the thoroughfares and. Yeah, you know, I'm far enough away. It might help. So Argus is going to ask the woman, uh, could she be our guide through these alleyways to get us to where we're going? S sir, I, I I don't know what to what you expect. I know the way certainly, but there are fiends everywhere, and buildings have collapsed. Alleyways and passages that might have once been available have now been covered in ruin. I, I have no more sense of how to traverse the city than you. Well, point us in a direction. Point us towards Torm's Reach. You... Okay. Uh, come on, children. Let's go. Before we, uh... Maybe your for... mother will be there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you're not even... Uh -oh. What? What? Well, at least uh, you have the decency. Yeah, no, right. these children are not mine. I I was fleeing for for my life, and I saw them. I I I helped secure them away from from the devils, but you're I, a very I, kind woman. Well, it is Torm's way. I like this Torm. Sh should we move? Yes. Yes, let's, let's head out as, as quickly as possible. As we're headed out, I want to take my hammer and kind of wrap my shield a little bit. You feeling froggier in there? You get no reply. <laughs> oh, guys, he doesn't like this anymore. We're here, and he said he, you know, he. I brought him here. You know, we we're at the end of the deal. He said he felt really strong. Or, you know, he, he said he was going to be really strong when he got here, but he's not even talking. Maybe he escaped already. Didn't he say once he got back he could leave or something? Yeah, maybe. We should just heckle him until we piss him off. Let's keep moving while we do that, though. Yeah, yeah let's do that. <laughs> so, just so that I have 100% clarity, are you trying to annoy the shield of the Hidden Lord? <laughs> <laughs> just slightly. You know, like, just like, hey, you in there, like, knocking on the door? You know, with the hammer? <laughs> like... Sure. Uh, yeah, that is not a problem at all. And uh, eventually, you will provoke a response. Uh, however, that response... Where is it? Anytime. The shield can choose. There it is. Uh, the shield is going to radiate an aura of dread. Everyone within 20 feet of the shield must make a wisdom save. <laughs> I sincerely hope you just didn't kill the kids. <laughs> oh, God. What have you done? All right. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling for the NPCs. Let's just assume they fail because they're already... All right. If you rolled less than 18, you are frightened until the start of your next turn. So, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just, just roleplay at this point. Um, Come on, man. Why you got to be like that? So, so everybody else... 
um, you feel this this radiating power, and the shield speaks back. How dare you! I am Gargoth. I am a pit fiend of immeasurable power, and I assure you, once I escape this golden prison, I will eviscerate you. Wait, did he just say he's a fiend? Yeah, he says he's a pit fiend. You guys knew that. Remember, you uh, the Macath the Crimson. Or oh, that not. that's right. She, but the woman at Candlekeep told you about the uh, the history of the shield. That's right. Forgot about that. Look, you ain't gotta be so uptight. I mean, it could be worse. Guys, something doesn't feel good. Uh, Lulu, is there any way back? Can we? Can we go? Is it too late to leave? I'm afraid not. Without the wizard, we are stuck. I'm afraid too. Hold me. Uh, yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> go, go, come on, man. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. So, so Lulu jumps into Talion's arms, and then <laughs> Zondunk runs up and, and wraps his arms around him. So now we're moving down the, the alleys of uh, Avernus in like this big Scooby Doo fear huddle. <laughs> <laughs> my arms and Zondunk's on my back, peeking over the shoulder. <laughs> Okay. Cannon, cannon, is Zalian holding the pile? Just like, come on, guys, it's not that bad. Like, he's he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so you guys make your way through the city, and eventually, uh, you hear a cry for help. It sounds like a male voice, and uh, and, and you, as he shouts, you you can hear it sounds muffled. Please, anyone. Much as uh, as much as I'd like to help, these kids are our priority now. That man's also going to attract a lot of attention, yelling like that. Yeah, either we need to quiet him or help him. I'm very hurt. I Please, can we see him? Uh, no, you cannot. You're like in the middle uh, of an alleyway, and there's collapsed buildings around, but you cannot see the source of the voice. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Is someone I there? I can't save everyone. No, no, don't no, leave me! Please! I'm badly injured, and it's beginning to smell a bit like almonds. Um, it, 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 it doesn't spook anyone, and it sounds like he knows what we're doing. Oh, uh, yeah, if we can't see him, but he can see us, that's kind of strange. I, I can't! I, I'm buried under this rubble! I, I can hear you! We should, yeah, we should keep moving fast. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't it's know. Painful. I kind of, I, I, I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. And I, I'm gonna walk over and try to lift up the rubble. Okay, uh, you're gonna need to make a strength athletics check, as much of the concrete is very heavy. I'm going to very carefully keep an eye out all around us. Oh, 22. The uh, that's no problem. Um. As you, you move the rubble, what you find is uh, a dwarf, and he's coated in, in steel armor that's rimmed with, with gold. Um, on his armor is the, the symbol of a, of a glimmering sun, and you can see that uh, his leg is bent at an odd angle. And uh, a piece of the bone is sticking out from the front. He he uh, holds his arms out towards you. Please help. I'm how much to, how how much of my lay on hands would it take to like, you know, heal his leg? Well, I mean, you can restore some health to him, but I don't think uh, your lay on hands would just fix an injury of that magnitude. All right. Don't try anything funny. I love dwarves. Don't make me hate them. And I'll, you know, what? take his, take his, take his arm. Please, sir. He reaches up, and he starts hopping. No, uh, my shield. Grab my shield. What? He's he's pointing on the ground behind him, and you can see that as you've lifted him, his shield, and his. Uh, and his warhammer are left behind. 
Uh, I'll pick up his shield. Whatever. I'll keep the I'll keep the rubble lifted up while he does that. Thank you, friends. I I thought it would die. What? Uh, where Don't are the others? Yet. Kartra and Velcora were with me. Are they? Oh, we just we just got here. Listen, we don't have time to look. We got to keep moving. You need a lift? <laughs> Please, sir. They are my comrades in arms. All right. Shield Jump doors. On my... They. You must find them. Jump on my shoulders. Let's go. Uh, jump? I'm gonna oh, like. All right, fine. Like... I'll, uh, poor, poor use of words. Yeah, and I pick them up and put them on my shoulders. No, my friends. I'm gonna like oh. mimic a like like knock them out like like. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Look, where I can't, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Like, where, where are your friends? They were in the building with me. We were following this, this dastardly imp, and when we moved through, there were these creatures. They, they were horrible. They, they looked like men, but they had these weird spines coming out of their skin in every, every direction. They look. They collapsed the building on us. I think they're Look. still inside. I uh, well, I mean, you're the only one who's been screaming, so I'd hate to say Please it, but Please find my friends. I think your friends are gone. <laughs> no. They're dead. They're, they're dead. Can I'm I sorry. Do, maybe. Well, at least you're alive. Take take faith in that. We got to keep going. I guess you're right. Where are we going? To uh, Torm's Reach, to and then to the chapel. You mean to go to the high hall? I suppose. We yeah. just got here. Well, then I will assist you as I am able. All right. My name is Stroven Ironfist. I am an acolyte of Moradin. Moradin. Ah, yes. I may not right. be able to walk very well, but if you could just bear with me, then I, I will assist you as I'm able. Uh, is there like a piece of wood around? Uh, sure. There's debris everywhere. We can make him a stent with some rope and a piece of wood. You know, to hold his legs straight, maybe. I don't know that that's going to really help him walk on his own or fight. Uh, well, it was, it was worth a guess, but I'll as keep him on my shoulders. you guys this conversation... <laughs> As you guys have this conversation, you hear oh, a voice. It, it is unlike anything you have heard before, and it speaks in Infernal. Arcanus? Yeah, what's it saying? Uh, you can distinctly hear it say, I heard this way. Let's go, let's go. So, yeah, yeah Arcanus is going to be whispering. It's like, somebody's coming. Gotta move. So you start to, to move with haste, trying to avoid the, the source of the voice, and unfortunately, as you turn the corner, you're able to see flying in the air three of the uh, spine devils that you've already seen before, but they are being led by another creature. It is roughly five feet tall, but it is extremely wide, very stocky, muscular. You can see that it has pale bluish skin and it's covered in a, a strange, almost copper-like armor. Um, I say copper-like because it's got a similar coloring, but it doesn't appear to be made of any metal that you've ever experienced before. And this armor you can see the visage of, of snarling demon faces. And co on his own face, he wears a golden mask, uh, almost in the visage of what looks to be a smiling infant. Before combat starts, I put the dwarf back down. Ah, my leg! Yeah, um, sorry. Sorry, pal, you're not going to want to follow me. Yeah, I'm going to scoot the I... children behind me and tell Lulu that they're more important to protect. Am I able to throw my light crossbow and a couple bolts of the door? Yeah, right. Uh, no. He, he, okay. he rejects it. Get that away from me! 
How about how about javelins? He he just holds his shield. All right, uh, everyone, you can go ahead and roll initiative. Now. Yeah, I, I put the kids behind me and told Lulu that they're more important to protect. Yes, I heard. Cool, cool. So she's going to go back here. It hasn't been an hour. An hour? Since I lost an encounter, sorry. Oh, uh, it probably would have been. I, I know that we're kind of playing, like, if you look at the map, it is quite large, and there's... All of these encounters happen in a great deal of travel, so it would have definitely been more time than that. Okay, yep, yeah, it's just like, that my Eldritch Cannon is not here anymore. Okay. And uh, Shield of Faith would have worn off. And the temporary hit points are gone? No, no those last well, until well, arrest. I remember. Okay. I is it long or short? I thought it was short. Is your wound gone, though? I think that as long as you rest for either of them, they just... Is oh. Zarian's wound still there? No, it, it was closed. Oh, well, it's, uh, the, the token is still there. Or the icon, rather. Don't get rid of it. Uh, remember, I can't see it. You, oh, like, okay. Why don't you I don't... get rid of it. How do I uh, get rid of it? Double click and... Or, no, just single click and then click little circle with all the uh, status icons and turn it off. I'll figure it out in a moment. Still, okay, there we go. You, I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, there we go. All, All right. right. So, Arcanus, you are up first. All right, and they're still in the air. Oh, wait a minute. It helps if I put the bad guys into the turn tracker. Uh, the spine devils are in the air. Yes, the Maragon is walking on the ground. It cannot fly. How how far are the spine devils in the air? Say ten feet. You can reach them with with uh, melee swings if you're next to them. Perfect. Because I'm going to continue doing what the spellcaster does. We'll see how this works. You're gonna cast spells. Fireball. Okay. I feel I feel so bad, but then not really. Um, so the fireball roars and erupts forward. And you see that as it hits them, they are kind of knocked. Their footing is, is knocked astray by the impact of the spell. But their flesh is not seared. They seem to be immune to fire. And then you look around you and you see that the sky is on fire and the ground is on fire. Everything is on fire. And it kind of makes sense. <laughs> but is the other thing on fire? No. No. Most devils are immune to fire. <laughs> Arcanist, that attack was ferocious, but it doesn't seem to have hurt them. Alright. Sundunk. Sundunk is going to cast a second level Chaos. Chaos Bolt. At the one on the ground. At the Maragon. Okay. I'm assuming that's a miss. Yes, it is. And I move five feet to stand behind Zarin. All right, the spine devils, they fly around. They can move super far. Uh, kaka kaka. And then they each are going to flick their tail spines at the party. So the first one, uh, throwing them at Arcanus, missing. And, wait, why does it got disadvantage? It doesn't have disadvantage. Um, and then Talion looks like 22 for 9. Yep, that'll hit. Hey. Second one here, uh, throwing tail spines at Lulu and Zondank. Lulu and Zondank. 
Is it's mine the 15 or 20? Yours is the 15. It, it's always yes. in, in the order that I call it. Uh, okay, and the last sorry. one is attacking the Acolyte and uh, and Zarian. The Acolyte and Zarian. <laughs> oh, come on! The Acolyte raises his shield, blocking the spines. Uh, Zarian, though, looks like you take nine. Do I still have resistance to fire damage? Yes, you do. As okay. long as you are attuned to the shield and Gargoth likes you. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm kidding. It, it, he actually doesn't have to agree to anything. <laughs> I was hoping that was the case. I was really hoping. I will eviscerate you, but also here's my power. <laughs> uh, you dare mock Gargoth? Uh, the Maragon is going to run forward, getting right next to three of you. He's very nice yeah. and cozy there. You know, I was going to run at him, but he beat me to it. Is within... No. Okay. It is going to attack. And it's going to attack... Alien, I don't think I've attacked you enough today. Sounds good. This. This. Oh, man. That's very sad. It's very sad. Really? Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna... Whichever one was shooting at Lulu and the children, I'm gonna shoot at that one. It'd be this guy in the back. 10 is a miss. 22 is a hit. And, uh... <laughs> shot just takes him out of the air and he falls to the ground. Shot through the heart! That'll do it for me. Zarian. Seeing this guy kind of run up on us real quick, I'm going to assume that he's pretty dangerous and he's kind of creepy. So, I'm going to try to hit him. Fourteen is a miss. Eighteen is not. All right. Um, smite him! Smite him! Yeah, smite we're him. gonna we're gonna we're gonna go with a smite. <laughs> Level one smite. Ooh, bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Bold move, Cotton. Is he a fiend? He is a fiend. Okay. Wow, what? Is that? Yeah, that was level one. Yep, three d eight. Okay, so and as the the golden radiant light bursts. From this, from the strike, you see he becomes very upset. Well, you can hear a growling coming from under the uh, golden mask. Uh, the shield dwarf, uh, holding his shield, he is going to reach out his hand and try to grab Zarian. I will, if I see him, I'll, you know, kind of. Lend out my hand. Okay. So he reaches out and he grabs you. Mordrin's might is with you! Thank you. And then it's going to be Arcanus' turn. Well, having tested fire again, I'm now going to pull out a silver dagger and start slicing at this weird looking baby thing it slices it dices uh 11 misses and that's it this has been the cooking show with arcanus <laughs> 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 all right zontank i'm gonna move about five feet and just swing with this oh yeah and and Fury of the Small to add an extra 5 damage on top of it. Nice! And then bonus action disengage because I'm behind Zarya. Nice, nice, nice. Zarya, I believe in you! Zarya, <laughs> <laughs> use it! That's our catchphrase. Alright, the Spine Devils. Uh, so this one, seeing what happened, is going to throw both of their tail spines at the Acolyte. Oh no! Oop. 
Oh, I shouldn't have taken them off my shoulders. Cha cha. Ooh, eighteen hits. He looks severely wounded. Uh, the other one throws his tail spines at Talion again. Both of them at Talion this time. Yay! Ow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, you were you were damage on one and nine damage on another, so twenty one. Uh, no, huh? no, nine, twelve, twenty one plus six is twenty seven. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh my lord! Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's and that's why you don't tempt fate. <laughs> All right. Uh, after that, the Maragon, like once again. Starts spinning his glaive. Uh, let's level his. Come at me! Vad Zarian, if you want it. Bop. Bop. Nope, he misses. You suck. Uh, <laughs> Italian. Alright, uh, which, which, which one shot at me? Which one hit me? Oh, you pesky little sucker. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But wouldn't this be with disadvantage? You are in melee engagement with another creature. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Gotcha. Ooh. Shall I just re-roll? Uh, well, currently, those are both hits. So we need just okay. one more roll for each. Copy that. Uh, so that's one hit and one miss now. And 19, 20, 20 damage. That is a dead guy. Didn't matter. <laughs> Copy that. All right. Uh, Zarian? Uh, well, I really, really, really want to help this guy down here, considering how much he just helped me. Um, this is a tough situation. Uh, I gotta smack him, because I can't move away without taking an attack of opportunity. The 16 hit. It does, and he is dead. All right, and then uh, I can can I move between attacks? Mm-hmm. All right, then I will move directly in the way of uh, this guy here and take my second swing at this uh, spine devil here. Seventeen is a hit. And uh, nice. Let's see. No, I don't. I can't risk. Smite like, it! Smite it! Smite! Fine, fine, I'll smite him! Fine, I'll smite him! <laughs> like, just only because Good. I want to save this door. He burns all the spell slots on the little things. Stop it! <laughs> I know, I know. It hurts me. It hurts me. Oh, that's dead. I don't. I just want to save the door. And that'll end combat. Oh. I guess, uh, anybody need a health potion? Nah, I'm good. Nah, not for now. Um, can we take a look at this weird baby looking thing, see if he has anything to people? Oh. Uh, let's see. Investigating the, uh, the Maragon, you find nothing! Ha 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 ha! Very well. Kelly, do you need a health potion? Uh, uh, might not be a bad idea, but perhaps we save him for if we truly there's, need him. There's going to be more. I mean, yeah, but when we're truly going to need them is in the middle of us getting killed. I'd rather us use it while we have a second. Well, then I'll keep one on hand, and if we run into trouble again, I'll pop it before then, but well, I, need to, I can walk for now. I will use I um a spike out of my arm. <laughs> <laughs> How much health did the dwarf lose? Eight. Eight? Then I will give him eight with my lay on hands. It brings me down pretty low, but you know. I wanna keep him alive. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. So on any chance you can do that uh that cannon thing again? <laughs> I mean maybe. And I'll put the dwarf back on my shoulders. Sorry about that. Oh, thank you, friend. I'm gonna check on the children. Thank you. They're crying. They're so scared. I'm scared. 
I'm gonna hand them each a candle and tell them, uh, look, as long as you hang on to this, Torm's gonna protect you. And then I'm gonna, like, nod at Lulu and Lulu too. What? <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? <laughs> I don't know why it's happening, but I promise we're going to get you out of here. What was that guy's name? The uh, the mage guy that was with the uh, Van Thampers back in the city? Oldegard, I think. Or... Thavius oh, wait, Krieg. No, no. Thavius, yeah. yeah, Thavius Krieg. Blame that guy. That's why this is happening. Hey, Florg, so how you feeling? Not Any now. better? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we need to start moving before yep, any more yep. of these things move. Yep, let me just pick up this guy. Let's go. Yep, onward. All right, uh, so you guys begin moving again. Um, you're about, you know, two-thirds of the way to the bridge. Onward. Right? And as you travel, eventually, um, you, you come to... An area where most of also, your... Also, uh, guys, uh, we still have uh, those scrolls as well. Oh, yes. Maybe we can save those for um, bigger fights. Well, I was saying it was more of the idea of, uh, you know, if all of us get pretty hurt, uh, you know, we could uh, regain a lot of hit points afterwards. <laughs> Yep. So you guys are about two thirds of the way to the bridge, and as you're traveling, um, you you reach a part of the city where you only have one road forward. Um, all the surrounding, uh, all the surrounding buildings have collapsed, and uh, there's wreckage and detritus, and it's blocking your way. So you begin moving carefully, trying to get ahead. And when you round the corner, you see a ghastly sight. There is a large, large pile of the dead here. Um, they, they coat the road. And in order to move forward, you're going to have to walk through them. And even more alarming is there are currently, and you can see, there are at least four ghouls bent over feasting on the corpses. Oops. You don't uh, need that. It's there. <laughs> it's, well, I meant for I meant for like, you know, the ones that are still laying on the ground that we may or may not be able to tell, like, you know, if they're a ghoul or not. You know? That, that does cost you an action. Um, oh, okay. And Currently, we are not in combat. If you guys take a combat action, then we're going to roll initiative. Oh, okay. Heard. So, uh, you walk up. They're, they're manja. You know, they're, they're just chomping away. They haven't noticed you because they're, they're too intent on eating. Uh, what would you like to do? I bet we, um, we skip this one, eh? Just go around quietly ish. We can try. So, I mean, sneaky sneak time. Whatever keeps everyone safe. Uh, the acolyte speaks up. Where, uh, where do you intend to go? I didn't see any other other passageways that would lead us towards towards Torm's Reach. I forgot we had him. Um... Oh, I mean, you guys just want to plow through this mess. I'm all for it. But... I mean, we we can double back quite a bit and try to find another way through. Nah, that'll take too long. Let's just kill him and be done with it. I like that plan. And, well, if no one else is going to do a quick action, I'd like to expend a first level spell slot to get my Eldritch Cannon back up and... Okay, again, if we wait, if we wait. start trying to take combat actions, we're going to roll initiative. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lulu can fly, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Lulu... What if you fly around on the other side of them? Alert them 
and then have them chase you off a little ways. Do a roundabout and come back to us and meet us here. I Just won't abandon my friends. But what if this is helping your friends? No, I won't leave you unprotected. Copy that. Can anyone else fly? I mean, if sorry, it throws me, I can fly for a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> Never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unholster my, my <laughs> uh, I guess that's where it is, huh? Right. Uh, All right. Yeah, then I guess. Uh, let me pull that up. Just go ahead and. Uh, Eldrick Cannon. Yep. Can we sub can we like surprise attack them before we before like since they're involved? I've you guys like three times. Uh, if you wanted to try and stealth, you could have, but <laughs> we're already an initiative, man. Scroll that. I am an eight foot tall Goliath in plate mail with low sneak and disadvantage. So I mean, like it would have taken a miracle. Ah, uh, ghouls are so cool. I love them so much. Speak for yourself. Uh, is like is Lulu forward. instructed to hang back and protect the children again? I think that's the best idea. She can stay nearby if she can protect us too, but... Okay. And to be clear, she feels really bad. Uh, Lulu will not use her aura unless she is specifically told to. Is everybody... That one, sounds two, like one, a hint. Four. One, two... Well, I mean, these are ghouls. They're not spellcasters. So we're not. Really <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say last time I checked, I don't think ghouls do magic. Is there a necromancer nearby by any chance? All right, the acolyte is going to pop forward, moving the talion. You, you've got this. I believe in you. You and your your friends will get us to the keep. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like feeling a little bit better than not. Um, yeah, that's all right. It's get off me. Lulu's turn, so she's going to uh, kind of buzz around and she tries to gore one of the ghouls. She's going to gore. One of the hey, she did it. As she stabs, as she stabs it, you can see uh, just a little flash of radiant energy. Ooh, and then Arcanus. All right, these things aren't devils, so. <laughs> and he's gonna fire at this thing. But wait. Oh, we gotta test the balance, don't we? Thirteen yep. is a hit. Oh yeah, she doesn't have her shield up. Sweet. But also, yeah, like you said, they're not devils. <laughs> All right, and that's it. That's it. The ghouls. So the ghouls surge forward, and you can see. On the other side of the massive mound are several moors that were just out of bounds. Oh no, Lulu! Lulu, why? She stayed back. She wasn't told to. Uh, so our ghouls are going to run forward. And they are going to bite and claw. We have three on Lulu. Bite and claw and bite again. Miss, miss, 18 is a hit. Uh, con save will be paralyzed, you say? That's the ghoul sheet. I need the Lulu sheet. Lulu is paralyzed. Oof. That's no. not good. No, Lulu. That means she's going to take crits. And then coming up after that, we have three in the center. Uh, these are just stupid beasts, though they are going to attack. Um, 
the token for the for the defender, you didn't put in the health or the AC. What is it? Uh, AC is 18 for it. Okay. And it's HP? 25. Okay. So we have the two ghouls. They're going to attack the, the turret. Looks like one hit. The other one is attacking you. And misses. And after that, it is Talion's turn. I'm going to move back with the kids. Um, use one of my actions to take one of those potions. Oh, which one should I take, though? Sorry, I need to check what we have. Did you say one gonna... of my actions? <laughs> doesn't it take... Well, sorry. So can't I pop a potion and still make my extra attack? No. You, you only get extra attack when you take the attack action. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna hold off on that potion then. Yeah, All if right, you I'm look at the fire. Wording. Gotcha. I'm gonna fire at that one. This. What is going on? <laughs> I think that's four for me. Which which one was it? The one by Arcanus? This one right here by Lulu. Yeah, he's super dead. Ha! Huh. Pang! <laughs> It's, it's Rick Grimes, is what it is. It's headshots all day. <laughs> That'll do for me. Thundark. Uh, Thundark bonus action to use his Eldritch Cannon and give himself temporary hit point. Okay. That's the same amount he has currently, so... And swinging the sword at this one. Oof. Stop stealing my crits, y'all. But yeah, that's that's me. Darian. I'm gonna uh, move myself uh, up to right here, if possible. Sure. And then I'm gonna do something I haven't done this entire campaign. Ah! Knock your shit over. He's gonna do a thing. Oh no, not I a am, thing. I am going to channel divinity. <laughs> okay. Nature. Oh, no! <laughs> Turn, Turn the faithless, the I mean. <laughs> uh are you sure? Well, I mean these are fiends, right? No. They're no? ghouls. They're undead. Fiends. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> the one time, like I'm trying to save Lulu here, dang it. Uh, then I guess no. If they, if it doesn't affect them, and I know that it doesn't affect them, then I wouldn't do that. Sure. Um, Mulligan. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry about that. It's just, uh, dang it, I'm trying to save her. Um. Take that upper attack and get up in there. Yeah. 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 Do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> do it <laughs> your AC is 22 what's the chance they'll hit you how about how about bonus action oh no because I don't have any more level 1 spells well you know what um, we're just going to have to get to swinging I guess and yeah. uh, Lulu uh, I hope you're I hope you're you know she's paralyzed isn't she yeah oh, well yeah, you know yeah. I love you golden elephant but I, I don't know why you were all the way up there so I protecting guess, my friends. Yeah, we love you, Lulu. I'm gonna start swinging on this guy right here. Okay. Uh, I thought I was about to do something cool. Hit. You want to smite? Nah. No. <laughs> Gotta save my spells. Do you? Yeah, I'm running pretty low. I've already used you like use four. Them. Lulu's going to die. Well, I mean. I don't know why she chose to run up there, but, you know, I don't know why I wasn't in the front either, but I don't know that either. But, you know, how's, how's he looking after 12? <laughs> uh, he looks quite wounded. Smite would probably kill him. Uh, well, if I use <laughs> a smite, it'll, be, it'll, have, to be, it'll oh. have to be level 2. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> do it. Oh, okay. Uh, 15 hits and he is dead. And that's, uh, that's all I can do. Dwarf, do something! 
I'm sorry. I I, 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 I don't know what you want. I, ranged healing spells. <laughs> I can't. I, I've Just used what little bit of magic I had. Looks at the elf. Throw me. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't, I can't get up there. My, my leg. You should have taken the crossbow. Lulu looks around. You can see uh, her eyes kind of flutter as she is panicking. And she, she kind of makes her her resolve. She flies around over here, seeming to be. Unaffected by the para paralysis. And as she moves, you can see her shed a single tear. As she raises her trunk. And it, as she she inhales, <gasps> she lets out a trumpeting blast. It shakes the very ground. It is absolutely deafening, and it echoes and can be heard rolling off into the, the sky around you. It's some sort of horn of heaven. As she does. Definitely going to have to run after this. As oh, yeah, we're she does. Infant save. Reaches in the cone. There it is. She lets out this, this sound, and as it flows forward, you can see it is this radiant beam of glittering energy. <laughs> and it washes out over all of you. I mean, it's, I think it's a 60 foot cone. Uh, oh no. Oh yes. So it washes out over all of you. And uh, is there anyone here who is not of good alignment? I think this is the only time where Arachimus. Oh wow, everybody but me is not good. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Well, well, I'm, I'm neutral actually, so I guess I might be. Uh, uh, I'm then. not in the cone. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> well, this this blast radiates outward, and. Uh, everyone inside makes a con save or takes 22 radiant damage. Oh no. If you are evil, you have disadvantage on the save. If you are Bro. good, you are immune to its effects. <laughs> Alright, so Moose passed, only takes 11. Zondonk only? passed, only takes 11. No, no, I'm woefully evil. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Take 22. <laughs> A good thing it's technically half because of temporary hit points. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. And then all of my ghouls, except for the one by Arcanus. All of my ghouls, except for the one by Arcanus, they roll with disadvantage. Uh, so we need to make two more checks again. And everybody failed. So all the ghouls are dead. Except the one. Barakness. Lulu, that was amazing. I'm sorry I couldn't get to you in time. Ah, the pain. <laughs> Trump on to uh, I'm sorry. I didn't Why? want to. I was afraid Why? I would hurt you. What? What? I was not affected. Why are you affected? Sinners, all of you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is... <laughs> Sinners. <laughs> <laughs> Son Dunk, say it isn't so. I'm a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> <My name. laughs> we have to I'm hurry. Thinking. They surely yes. heard! They'll be coming oh, yeah. for us! Yep, scoop up the children and run. Well, Sorry, Dwarf. There's still, got a, still, got there's, a there's still a goal! <laughs> oh, yeah. Doing a stabby stab. Ooh, let's go. Well, that's something. Is there anything else? Nope, that's all I got. Aha! I still have a goal! 
And he's going to claw Arcanus. It, okay. Stallion. Ha ha! Watch crit number. What? <laughs> Card, oh, no, 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 there's no, no, there's no way. Wow. Is that How is seven? he doing this? How is he doing this? Lady How many is that? Look, he's smiling. That's five. Okay. <laughs> I think that's five. Hold on, hold on. One. <laughs> this is unheard of. <laughs> Dice are hot, man. I see that. I feel well, like he's that's... got some code in there somewhere. That's the end of combat. Yeah, let me like double check sharpshooter. I'm okay. Sure that's no, cool. I'm looking at it. It looks legit. That's that's just a net twenty. That is insane. I've never seen that before. For the first time ever, I'm rolling right. I'm scooping the door from her, <laughs> booking it. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, wait a minute. What is CS greater than twenty? I don't know you. Uh. No, that's, yeah. Crit range is 20. I don't know! I think it's just rolling well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it says that even on Arcanus is one, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. As we run, I'd like to try and get everyone in for temporary. No, don't. I'm not getting in there. My, I still have all mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. I want. I definitely wanted that. Yep. Does the dwarf get temporary hit points too? No, yeah. you're carrying him. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure he got it earlier though. He got he the did. eleven from earlier. Yep. Right. Run. Can so, I heal Lulu? Uh, did you heal her? Sure. I, I, I can give her a potion. If I don't like. know if it works on elephants. One way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give her a potion. I'll give her a basic healing potion. Give her yeah, some... which which healing potion do I want to burn? All of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Try one so, of the small ones first. I'll give her a regular one. So yeah, I don't know how much that does, but. All right, four hit points. Done? Uh, something, I guess. That's for Lulu. Oh, and another. You let and Lulu eat, drink all your potions. Well, you know, the one, the moose is for moose. Mine is for Lulu's. Alrighty. So, moving forward. Uh, within an hour, you guys make it to the bridge. You can see that the rift in the earth divides El Toro into the two halves. The riotous noise of the battle taking place far below the city is louder here, echoing up and through the jagged open tear. You can see a bridge 20 feet wide and more than 100 feet long spans the chasm. You can see there are holy runes etched into the stonework of the bridge that indicate the structure has been consecrated in the name of Torm, god of courage and self-sacrifice. You see there are six infernal creatures standing guard at the center of the bridge, scanning all directions. One of them points in your direction, and the group begins to move. Well, there's only one way across. Yep, through them. So we're going to put them here. You would be way back here, because if they are... There we go, 50 feet, bingo. It's like I've done this before. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, why did I move him closer? There we go. Alright, uh, once again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gulp another one down. Yeah, real quick. Slam it. Man, my initiative has been garbage today. I don't think I've rolled a double digit. Hey, I rolled a double digit! Complaining about it is the way to fix things, kids. That's the <laughs> message. Oh boy. Alright, while well, we, we wait for everyone up? to get into the initiative tracker, uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break oh so I can use rest. My lord. What? Oh. <laughs> Another crit. What? How? 
Italian gained advantage in hell. <laughs> yeah, hell was made for Italian, I guess. <laughs> Good lord, lady lucky smiling. Italian is secretly a tiefling. He's got home plane advantage. Home, <laughs> home plane advantage. been nice though that's for sure <laughs> yeah i've i've never seen that many crits in one go i've never i've also never seen that many crits in one go i've never seen that many crits in a single session yeah that's kind of kind of what we meant like oh uh, well yeah i was honestly uh, thinking thinking about it even split between all of us i've never seen that many crits Show the low yeah, right. Let me get some of that. Like you know, let hey, me roll. For, Arkin has got one or two. Let me roll later, so that you know I can get into that algorithm. I think Arcanus was close to Italian at the time of the crits, so I think yeah, he has like a secret. Yeah, yeah. I got an aura of crit. Timing is everything. Look, man, I'm not gonna argue. I wouldn't either. I swear, if I rolled as many crits as you have today, I'd be smiting everything. Which, you know, <laughs> I'd be out of spell slots already. I'm just farming XP. Look at our kill count down there. Yeah, that's true. I'm just trying to wait for something really big to let waste these last two spell slots. She a mat herself. Oh god! Oh. Don't don't tempt the devil. If that's what you want. <laughs> no, 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 that's oh, another game. What? Has it been in the ass since Lost Encounter? Yes. Okay, cool, so I'll try instead. Alright, Italian. Now watch, uh -huh. he's gonna walk up, shoot the bearded devil. Critical! <laughs> I can hit that. That's take two. I put, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I cursed your decks. <laughs> uh, Lulu begins to flutter forward, going to charge into the battle once again. Lulu, wait. Yes. No, no. You... What? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, don't go anywhere. That's what I was agreeing with you. No. Protect us from the spine devil's uh, ranged attacks, if you can, if that's even a thing. I don't She's know. gonna body block him now. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. Okay, and uh, you, aura. she closes her eyes, and the aura once again uh, erupts around her. And then it will be the bearded devils. So they rush forward on the bridge. And... And where did I hide the sheet? There it is. I don't know why I do that. I just put some of the sheets over on this side. I put the other ones over there. And then I don't know where any of them are. Um, they walk up. And still being outside of your reach, you see both of them. They they legit, they do the, like the fusion dance. Like arms out, up, oh tilt over God. towards the other one. And as they do... <laughs> They perform oh. a summoning ritual. And we're going to roll percentile die. So... What? A zero. <laughs> wow. Wait, is that a 100? Good odds, yeah, sir. that wasn't a 1d100. That was a 1d00. Ha! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, wow. I missed a number. There we go, 52. So, 30% chance of summoning a beard devil. So it's a CCV. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, the summoning was a fail. Womp womp. That's okay, but there's two of them, and I can do it twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Arcanus. <laughs> I've already tested my luck with these. Jump back. Getting out the uh, 
crossbow and shooting. Well, wait, we can shoot spells yeah, out of the much. sphere, but we can't shoot spells into, into the, the sphere. sphere. Correct. And you can't use fire. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> I have a feeling that's like your whole build. Yeah, fire, man. 11 is a miss. Yep, that's it. If we need somebody to light a fire, we'll let you know. Kid. Sun down. Uh, action to expend a first level spell slot to remake the Eldritch. And that is my turn. Oh, wait. No, that, yeah, that's my turn because everyone still has the temporary. Okay. And then the devils. Uh. Flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 flap. They're all going to fly forward and then throw spines at you if you hadn't have guessed yet. <laughs> that's kind of what they do. And then, here we go. All right. The Acolyte. What? Oh, they no. don't like him. No. Three, four, five. Uh, and again. Uh, uh, they miss. He holds up his shield and blocks it all. The other ones, all towards Zarian. They seem to be focusing the paladins and the clerics. Your, uh... Your righteous aura offends them, and they miss. I was just wanted to check. Um, the dwarf is prone. Kind of, oh, yeah. But... I think he's laying down with the shield, right? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, so I was just saying, if he, if he's, if he's prone and they're making ranged attacks against him, don't they get disadvantage? Uh, actually, no. Now they're gonna get advantage. What? No! Come don't on! Don't tell me my business, oh, devil woman! I'm, I was trying to. I was just trying to help. Him. That's all I'm trying to do. No, it doesn't okay. matter. Doesn't matter. He he doesn't matter. Oh, You're gonna well, die, I, I like him. Right. He healed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is the party becoming attached to an NPC? No, don't do that. <laughs> it, it would be a Slide. shame if something happened to him. <laughs> Slides children behind back. Nope. <laughs> Get okay. Back. Get back. All right. The DM's mad with power. <laughs> He's gone crazy. <laughs> All well, right. I know the. Uh, I know the. These guys have quite a bit of health, but the uh, spine devils don't have so much health. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and start with one of those. All right. Uh, yeah. Is what is it? No, I'm not going to smite. Is that is that enough to? No, kill it is it not. Or, no, he looks okay. he looks badly wounded. A smite would probably finish him off. No, I'm not. I'm not going to smite him. <laughs> I don't have many spell slots left. Oh, uh, but what are they there for? <laughs> uh, twelve is a miss. You should have done All it. All right. Should have done it. No, no. <laughs> Stop tempting me. Is this the shield talking to me? Is that what's going on here? Yes. <laughs> yes uh the acolyte he with having spent all of his spells and not having a weapon he is going to run over the talion and try to to shield the children with his body you oh, man. attack i'll protect them i was That's gonna good. give you a javelin <laughs> all right i'm gonna go for the dragon ball fanboys <laughs> oh god yeah, that's wow. a hit. Two hits. For Are you a really out of, of ammo? 35. No, I, have, I don't have ammo anymore. Yeah, you know, just... he's got the thing. I still don't know. I still haven't, don't have a full grasp on the thing. Uh, it's uh, the Nathan Artificer Infusion. In yeah, oh, Nathan. okay. I'm not reloading. Okay. Yeah, uh, and that's it for me. Okay, and uh, Lulu. Hey, uh, uh. You don't have to use the shield anymore. They're not slinging spells. It's okay. Do whatever you want. Well, she charges forward. Oh! <laughs> you had to say something, didn't you? 
What? Gah! Oh no, Lulu, why? She's helping. Oh no, Lulu, why? Oh, Lulu! No. No. Okay, it's just the one. Tickle, that tickle, tickle. Takes away your temporary hit points, but she is wounded. And Arcanus. All right. I seem to not be very good with ranged weapons, apparently. So, aiming at this one with that. Oh, oh, oh. God, I feel this awful. Just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, first of all, uh, as we have learned before, <laughs> fiends have magic resistance so he will get advantage on the save 16 is a pass yep <laughs> it's okay buddy you'll, you'll have your time to shine I promise uh Zondok Zondok is gonna let out a sigh and run up this side of Lulu and attempt to hit it with his sword. Uh, 22. Yeah, it's a hit. And then bonus action, the cannon's gonna move up 5 feet and then use its temp. No! Oh, we both get sick. I'm doing this for Lulu. Yeah, but I know, I just, uh, just replaced mine. Uh huh. Sucks. That's my turn. Alright, the Spine Devils. They continue their attacks against Zarian. All four of them now bombarding the Paladin with their fiery <laughs> oh spines. <God>. What? <laughs> this is what I get for love. <laughs> Your presence offends them! Uh, oh. Where are we at? Tailspine, okay. Uh, uh. Uh, oh god, they can't penetrate your high armor. <laughs> Even that last one doesn't hit you? No, no it's AC's 22. 22. Oh, wow. <laughs> that plate armor, man, and plate the shield. Plate armor and the shield. I'm glad we put you in plate armor then. Yeah. Alright, so going to town still on this one guy. Surely he's dead after that one. 19 is a hit, and down he goes. All right, Portion, then I mean. move up and start wailing on the next one. That was a 15 look. 15 looks like a hit. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're hurt, but they're still alive. Maybe. I'm not using a second level <laughs> smite on this thing. Uh, all right, well. The Acolyte is going to continue to shield the children. Damn pew it. pew! Oh god, why? Uh, the first one attack... On, one on this guy and one on that guy. First attack hits and kills the bearded devil. Second attack hits... Or 15. Man, you were just whipping out damage. Sharpshooter just adds 10, all I gotta do is land the shot. <laughs> yeah. And I remember at the beginning, you know, you, it was, uh, you know, it was really harsh on you. But now that you got all the bonuses, oh. you got that plus four. Yeah. Bearded Devil is attacking Lulu. No, Lulu. Eh. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yeah. A con save, or poisoned. Uh, Lulu's immune to poison. I thought it was very funny that the lawful evil goblin was caring about the celestial. Right. Who just the, the celestial just blew him up. <laughs> just don't understand that stand near me and fifth level spells and below don't work. <laughs> uh, Arcanus. All right, I saw this work once before. Oh. Slash. That's a hit. Swipey swipe. And that's it. 
<laughs> Zonduck? Uh, moving the cannon five feet this way, and then giving the temp hit. Oof. What? And then, 14. so that's me and Lulu. Okay, uh, 11. And then nice. I'm going to move around 5, 10, 15, 20. That shield is really nice. Oh god, yeah. Then smack it in with the sword. We're a kind of, we're kind of capable four-man party. <laughs> Feel my power! <laughs> <laughs> I love that voice so much. <laughs> oh my god. Poke. I stab him in his toe. That's be done. You trim his beard. Alright, and the spine devils. They are gonna continue raining their their uh, shards on the holy uh creatures and beings around them. Uh this time again attacking Zarian and the Acolyte. Yeah, hit him. Oh no, no, not the Acolyte. Yes, the Acolyte! No. One, two, three, no. four! Wow! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> then so, this one to have disadvantage? On range? Uh, uh, yeah, so I rolled a 23 and 18. And then we'll roll one, two more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 18, okay. So only the first three hit. So five, four, eight, 10, 11... Uh, 14, 17, shoo, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And he has 11 health. He's super dead. Bad! No! I tried. My friend! <laughs> you killed my friend! Uh, this one here was Zarian. He's gonna, uh, bite you. Nope. He's gonna fork you up. Nope. Yeah, I did none of those things. Zarian, if only you had smited and you could go assist! Oops. Hello? Furious yeah. anger. Furious, just speechless, just... Okay. Uh, hit... Five, seven, uh, at second hit, we'll kill it. And then uh, I will take my movement action and uh, move here. And that's it. All right, Talion. All right, I'm going to shoot at the Spine Devils. Starting with the lower one. Uh, 14 will hit. Copy that. He survives. And then I just want to make sure I'm in front of the kids now that the door's dead. Yes. Sure. Uh, Lulu, it's gonna do tusky things. Gore. Miss. I feel like, you know, one of those, like, yeah, I feel like one of those sitcoms where, like, Lulu is, like, you know, that character that comes in and does something, and everybody's like, oh, Lulu. Oh, oh Lulu. <laughs> All right, uh, and then our bearded devil, he's going to continue attacking uh, Lulu as well. No. I find a sheet. There it is. Slash. Uh, that's definitely a miss. 18 is not. She's immune to poison. And she has a ton of uh, temp HP. So then it goes to Arcanus. Hey, Maru. Where the and hell have you And I'm been? going to continue slashing. And then I also have a second dagger. Uh, 15 is a hit. And then that. All right, Zondok. Uh, bonus action first to do the... Stop it. <laughs> I'm annoying in my own way. And then I'll slash at the bearded. I'm pretty sure Zondonk has stopped Lulu from taking damage for the past like two rounds. 
Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's me. Uh, Spine Devil, we still have two left. And they are going to rain death on Zarian. Probably not, but they would like to pretend that they are. Gah, 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 none of them hit. And then you're up. I feel like I just see a bunch of spines that are on fire flying at me in between the shield and my plate mail. They're all just like yeah, hanging they're, they're, off of me. They're hitting you. They're just falling, you know. <laughs> I look like a giant sparkler. Something like that. If you can imagine it, a bunch of tail spines, you know, mm. on fire. Oh! Ouch. I'm, I'm blinded by all the debris. Does that hit that guy? 15 does hit. Do you want to smite? Nope. Okay. Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hellion. All right, I'm going to shoot the spine devil. I'm doing good, Maru. Scary in Ohio, but, you know, it's okay. That'll be a miss. There we go. That'll now I'm going low. Uh-oh, the pendulum has swung in the other direction. Uh, Lulu! Oh, let's go, Lulu! <laughs> and then the devil. He, uh... Not being the brightest of, of folks, eventually he, he gets the, the gist of what's been happening. He provokes an op attack from Zondank. Yeah. Begins to attack the turret, misses both as it is heavily armored. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stationary object! And uh, it is tiny. Arcanus. Alright. I'm going to fire a Chaos Bolt at this beard. No! That's true. <laughs> I, I, I don't you guys can see the aura right now, now, right? I think I changed yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I forgot about the aura. Brain fart. It's and cool. Then, it happens to the best of us. I, and I, I don't like... The, I'm gonna move over top of this one and start slashing still. I'm the counterintuitive little devil on your shoulder trying to help you. Right. Uh, bolt miss. Zon dunk. Get back here and die. Ooh. You've been pretty and consistent with your rolls, too. Bonus action. Really silly that that's a bonus. Uh, that's crazy. This thing's the best. This machine is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to actually read the artificer. <laughs> Alright, the spine as as I know I put it all together well. If you don't want me to continue with the class, I'm happy to check. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I just like like we had talked before the stream, I don't have a lot of experience with Eberron. It never was interesting. Yeah. So the artificer class is not one I'm too familiar with. Uh, now I might have to give it a read. Uh, well, we're in medium range. Let's attack the squishy. I gotta hit something. <laughs> Very excited for that mythic thing. Medium range. Hail spine. Bing. Oh, is thirteen a hit against you, Arcanus? I'm guessing no. Nope. Okay. And then Zarian. How about a 12? Does a 12 hit? 12 does not. 15 does. Alright. Sorry, Just I spaced. Damage. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, and then Talion. Bearded Devil. Lee and the spine shooter. Pow. Oh my god, 13's a hit. That's it! That's the end of combat! <laughs> Let me kill something, goddammit! I'm, <laughs> I'm very glad that devil did not show up. 
blows on the barrel of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Zondok's gonna look down at the um, bearded devil, and I'd like to sleight of hand kick it, and then stab it to act like, you know, that I was... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Zorian looks over at Talion, blowing the smoke off his gun, and kind of, like, looks confused, but, like, lifts his hammer up to his mouth, and just kind of... <sighs> Does the same thing to like the metal of it, but like you know, he feels like he should do this, but he's not exactly sure what's going on. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, you're supposed to do that every time, Zarin, after a kill. All it's right, a common, it's a common thing. Congratulations, okay. boys, we made it halfway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh boy. we're halfway there. I'll stop now. Let's patch Lulu up so she's not wounded anymore. Good idea. All right. I would like to give her a band-aid with with hearts on it. It's, she's very appreciative. But they did say that the side of the bridge that we're coming from was the more volatile side, right? Ooh, yeah. Well, they, yeah, that was their assumption. Yeah, we will have okay. to see. Okay. Uh, looking at the dwarf, does he have anything of value that we can make use of? Um... He had a warhammer and a shield. And he had some he did not have a warhammer. You guys left it behind. Yeah, but he did personal. have his shield. Oh, I thought we. Oh, did Talion only grab his shield? Yes. Yes. Did. <laughs> oh. He even asked you for the war, but you know whatever. Oh, uh, gotcha. So examining him, his armor is badly damaged, being you know skewered with all the spikes from the spine devil. <laughs> um, and as far as his shield, it is looks entirely unremarkable except for the mark of Torm. I'm sorry. The the mark of uh, Morgan that is on the front. After him blocking all those attacks, I like to picture that he just moved his shield aside to say, is it clear? <laughs> that just got <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're doing it! <laughs> it, was a, it was a sad death for a very good friend. May you rest easy. Hopefully your soul doesn't end up down here. Yeah. Do any of the devils have anything on them? No. All right. Let's get across the bridge then. Yes, let us get across the bridge next week. If, 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 he's, got a, <laughs> if he's got a holy symbol, I'm going to take that from him too. It, it's emblazoned on the shield. Oh, gotcha, uh, gotcha. It's a good thing you guys grabbed it when he begged you for it. If you didn't, then he couldn't do shit. <laughs> it would have been Swiss cheese earlier mm -hmm. she's earlier you know honestly he, he helped he did he was oh absolutely help. all right guys thank you for coming hanging out appreciate you being here if you enjoyed the stream make sure you hit that follow button if you haven't already make sure you join us in the discord that's where you hang out through the week that's where we organize all of our games that's where you need to be if you want to get involved and uh hopefully i see you next time bye everyone <laughs>